Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome back to another episode of Aliens in My Brain. Ladies and gentlemen, I know that I've been talking a fair bit about the alien stuff ever since like the, uh, the Grush report came out. Uh, well, not the report, but rather the uh, the entire, uh, you know, bombshell, if you will. I know that I talked about Las Vegas, but today it seems like we're getting closer to the veil being taken off. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a U.S. senator is pushing to declassify UFO documentation. Senators to offer amendment to require government to make UFO records public. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the longest time, the United States government has been hiding the truth from the sheeple, the Russians, the Chinese, the North Koreans, the Pakistan, all the governments in the world came together to hide a Lamau evidence. At least that's what, you know, I guess would be passed around to the water cooler at the nearest conspiracy con. But to understand or take a more pragmatic approach to it, I believe that there are obviously life, life forms out there. How many times they've come to our planet to anally probe us? I'm not entirely certain on that, but of course, if you ever wanted to see like a heat map of Alamawa interference, you can see that according to this map, Argus.com, which actually shows you UFO sightings in the United States. So I'm being a little bit disingenuous. I'm going to go scroll back uh, out to our side of the pond. And as you can see, you've got a whole lot of action going on in New York. You got some in Washington. And then of course, you've got some in Los Angeles. Phoenix, and of course, in our favorite part of the world, Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, if you ever wanted to look aside of what's going on here, they have tons of UAP reports, tons of Alamau reports that one can sit down and look through, all the way from 1999 to 2023. This data set contains over 80,000 records of sightings between 1910, sorry, and 2014. So clearly, this is a historical record of all the Alamaus that have allegedly visited us. Now, one of the reasons that I wanted to look into it was a law is basically being passed around. Uh, not passed, but a bill is introduced, which bills become laws, all right? We've all seen the cartoon. Uh, the Senate in the coming days expected to consider a bipartisan measure, meaning that both sides of the aisles come together. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, a Democrat, has teamed up with Senator Mike Rounds, a Republican. <laughs> Sounds like a buddy cop movie. What happens when you take a herp the derp Democrat and a goofy Republican and tell them to <laughs> unmask UFO records? I'm having way too much fun with this, if you can't tell, dude, okay? I like to believe anytime I cover aliens, it's a big smile on my face, okay? Let me tell you. So in this entire thing, they've given a 64-page proposal to Congress about the Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena Disclosure, okay? The title may be cited as the Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena Disclosure Act of 2023, or the UAP Disclosure Act of 2023. UFOs are sort of the outdated term. UAPs are the coverall term. And then you've also got USG, which is, uh, you know, unidentified submerged, uh, you know, uh, craft or vehicles. Uh, I think it's USP, uh, un un uh, unidentified submerged phenomena. So again, that's your new updated terms, okay? Add that to your ro ro Rolodex, all right? Now, of course, uh, what they want is Congress finds and declares all federal government records related to UAPs should be preserved and centralized for historical and federal government purposes. All federal government records concerning UAPs should carry a presumption of immediate disclosure and all records should be eventually disclosed to enable the public to become fully informed about the history of the federal government's knowledge and involvement surrounding UAPs. So again, this is a pretty massive bill. And I know from time to time, the asshole has been tickled for a lot of, uh, you know, uh, UFOlogists where they just want to get their goddamn evidence, okay? And generally, these kind of disclosure acts happen from time to time. But what's really important is the wording. See, I ended up control effing non-human and I found 22 records, so to speak. So actually, let's read through this one. So in uh, Amendment 5 here, the term controlling authority means any federal, state, or local government department, office, agency, committee, commission, commercial company, academic institution, private sector entity, in physical possession of technologies of unknown origin or biological evidence of non-human intelligence. Dead bodies. A Lamau smart dead bodies, dude. The greys. Now, of course, you go down even further. 
They got the legacy program, which means all federal, state, and local government, commercial, industry, so on and so forth, uh, to examine biological evidence of living or deceased non-human intelligence that predates the date of this enactment of this act. So basically, if we ever had dead bodies in Roswell, they want to declassify it right here, okay? If we have a dead alien pilot... I want to know, all right? I want to I want to find that dead alien, okay? Now, of course, even to find non-human intelligence, the term non-human intelligence means any sentient, intelligent, non-human life form, regardless of nature or ultimate origins, that could also include, oh wait, that may be presumed responsible for UAP phenomena, or of which the federal government has become aware. So literally the sectoids from XCOM, okay? Do, 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 do. Yeah, you got aliens coming at us, man. We're, we're covering everything. Project attribution. The term project attribution means having a human origin, so either foreign or domestic, and operating according to current proven and generally understood scientific and engineering principles and established laws of natures and not attributable to non-human intelligence, okay? So I guess uh, UAPs that are human designed, I would say, but that aren't obviously of alien origin, right? Like no alien-like designed spacecraft. So what's actually new for anybody scared of the government taking away your shit, exercise of eminent domain. Uh, government can, if those of you don't know eminent domain, if the government wants your land, they're going to take your land, okay? Nothing you can do about it. The federal government shall exercise eminent domain over any and all recovered technologies of unknown origin and biological evidence of human uh, intelligence, non-human intelligence that may be controlled by private persons. So that Las Vegas family, if they actually had like 10 foot aliens going to their house, a house, that whole goddamn neighborhood's getting yoinked by the feds, okay? You're all getting like MIB neuralized. You catch me? You catch, you catch what I'm saying? It's a bad day. And of course, that's just generally looking over the bill. There's 64 pages. If you ever want to look over it, you absolutely can yourself. Because there's even more uh, descriptions as to what's going on in terms of what exactly these people want to see. So for instance, Mick West, who we're going to get into later. This is actually a debunker. Uh, he actually points out a point in this entire... Uh, um, uh, bill where they talk about UAP phenomena. So basically the, the term UAP means any object operating or judged capable of operating in outer space, the atmosphere, ocean surfaces, or undersea lacking projac attribution. So this could include instantaneous acceleration, absent apparent inertia, hypersonic velocity, transmedium, such as space to ground and air to undersea travel. You know, the, you, get, you get into Agartha? Not on my watch positive lift contrary to known aerodynamic principles, and a multispectral signature control. So they're trying to cover everything, okay? They're looking at all the, all the conspiracies and they're covering it all in this list, okay? God damn. Now to understand, this will only actually cover up to 25 years after this passes. So don't think that we're probably gonna get anything out of Roswell or like the 70s or 80s. I believe everything this covers up, all the UFO documentation up to like just 1999 is going to get unsealed. Anything beyond that will remain classified, which may have been done intentionally. Obviously, if there's some secret shit back in the day, the government ain't gonna want you to see it. Now, Mick West, for those of you who are wondering, is a guy that is a writer, investigator, coder, figuring out you have basically a UFO debunker, okay? For those of you who don't know who Mick West is, he's a guy that, again, debunks UFOs, but he's also made some indie games like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. You might have heard of a company known as Neversoft. This guy's a gaming legend, okay? So I have extra respect there alongside just being a debunker. But again, I like to look at everything with a positive spin to it. His website, metabunk.org, literally has like multiple different like debunking. So he's debunking David Grush. He's debunking a bunch of videos that constantly show up on your mom's Facebook page, so on and so forth. Multiple episodes. If you ever want to sit down into like the world of debunking aircraft and alien bases, this is the guy. Every time, like, I, I, I kind of knew about him from the time when I was doing Deep Web regularly. There was a period where I looked at, like, underground alien bases, and obviously I didn't believe that. But uh, I ended up finding a guy that basically talks a lot about any form of actual UFO evidence you'll see peddled around on Twitter, Facebook, basically unchecked. This guy tries to clear up as much of the misinformation as possible. And one of the questions he has to ask is actually one that I would ask too. So for instance, he says in the actual amendment, it seeks to, it seeks to set up a process for documenting UAPs based on six observables. 
yet no clear evidence has ever been shown that such a thing exists. Which he's basically saying that when you're looking at these six observables that we've seen, nothing aside from hearsay and like, hey, here's my source, that guy at the bar told me a week ago, there's no actual evidence to really work off of, so his idea is what's going to get released. And in, honestly, the defense of the ufologists, if this amendment gets passed, Mick is relatively going to be safe if nothing really comes out of this of value. However, if some actual evidence does come out, then it would absolutely make some of these people who've been living with this UFO in their head for 25 plus years, as long as I have, actual, you know, some, some, a, a goddamn W, a long needed W for those individuals, okay? I think Charlie was saying like his dad's a believer, like a full on believer. I don't know if he believes to the levels of like anal probing, but he would get the massive W, okay? So I'm kind of hoping for Charles White Sr. this moment, come on now. Now, speaking of some of the misinfo, I wanted to obviously end this video off with a little bit of goofs and gaffs. There was one bombshell that dropped yesterday. The author was contacted by an anonymous source who says Biden has been read in recently and shown videos of alien craft. They give you a hashtag called UFO Twitter, which... Whew, trust me, you gotta check this one out. And this is where we're gonna do what I like to call uh, fact fucking knowing your fact checking, like knowing how to check your facts, your sources. So I open up the actual, uh, you know, uh, page here, UAP Max, okay? So this is a news site, okay? A news site right here by editor chief, no name, no nothing. Uh, but of course, two days ago, my world changed. It all happened on Twitter. I've been researching the UFO and more recently UAP disclosure and event history for 30 years. Okay, all right, let's actually go down to where Biden said shit, okay? So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna control F Biden, all right, I'm gonna go up here, skip past the little title. Let's talk about Biden, governments, and what they know and don't know. You will see a video of Biden being briefed on technology viewing a full-size UAP called a multi-domain uh, vehicle that he is able to go into space, into the ocean, and through our atmosphere at speeds humans can handle. Biden sees, March 26, 2022, sees and is briefed about a laser that was recovered by the RAF. He is shown this technology and told that China has made significant strides. Okay, let's stop right here. They said you will see a video. Where's the video? Where? I don't see the video, all right? You live in a world of AI. Make up the fucking video. Come on now. Tomorrow evening, I'm gonna post part two. I will talk more about the tech that has come out. Yeah, I've been waiting for part two. Hug your families, always do. Even if there isn't the threat of alien disaster. Now, I'm not here to make fun of UAP Max or anyone. I'm just saying, if you're gonna say you got some videos and proofs, show the videos and proofs, okay? Then of course you've got this evidence right here. I'm sorry that there are those who don't believe this video. I'm really sorry. Let's watch the video here, okay? It's by Real UFO Love. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ooh, look at that, it's a UFO social. Oh my God, they couldn't fake that. Now, people have said that this is recorded so far back that CGI didn't exist. Um, but I, I'm, I'm just saying right now, that doesn't even really have to be CGI. You do realize this could be like a model and that could just be something, fl I'm just saying, all right? I'm not really seeing a whole lot of the ground to go off of. Just look at the alien just chilling around. He's like hot boxing above the planet. You know, if the, if the alien CIA told you not to get caught, this dude's getting straight up murdered back home on Mars, bro. <laughs> It's just saying. Now, it's great that all these things are filmed on a goddamn lens the size of a fucking micro penis, but you see the dust storm at the end too. All of this just comes across as super duper fake to me, man. That's all I'm saying, dude. It, it really does seem that way. Then, of course, July 12, 2023, Northwest Iran. Allegedly, there is a video showing Iranian air defense trying to destroy a UFO. Okay, let's watch Iranian air defense. So here you've got like, oh, you see that? Boom, 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 boom. We're, I don't know if those are like weapon, like missiles are firing off, but things are just blowing up in the air. Again, where does somebody identify a UFO out of this? Here's the thing. If these are like what you claim to be like, uh, like where, where is the actual UFO? I'm so, that's what I'm saying. There's like no point to it. There is just like a missile test in the sky. It's like, it's like an anti-air weapons test. This is, this is pretty much common. And then of course my favorite is like the USA Today and news on, on YouTube, man. You know how YouTube shits on everyone for like, don't spread misinformation, bro. They're literally putting a fucking like tadpole like sperm through the sky. Like that actually straight up looks like we're trying to impregnate the moon. Okay, let's watch this one. Onlookers were mystified by the tadpole. It's, it's come. It's, it, it's, it's literally, it's literally like alien sperm flying through the air. 
All right, apparently this is in China. There's no way to fact check this. It looks absolutely fake as hell. And uh, apparently this is going to be like some alien spacecraft object. I guarantee you this most likely is probably like some rocket launch, if anything, like at the end, maybe some new like form of like launch mechanism or maybe a fuel type. This is not an alien situation. Again, I don't know how people got this. It literally just looks like a rocket test, if anything. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the alien uh, situation updated right now. You know that I'm gonna be making these videos until we actually, I actually have an alien sitting in my lap, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, the day that happens is the day I'll die a happy goddamn man. I am a believer, but I'm also a pretty like, you know, legitimate skeptic myself. I'm not going to believe that there's alien probing and all that weird stuff so far. I'm sure that there's obviously intelligent life out there. Whether it's rated us or not, I'm skeptical. Obviously, I, I don't really think that we've been touched by aliens yet. But hey, if this bill ever leads us to proving something, sure. But what's most likely is with the amount of crazy stuff going on in the world, this easily could just be a distraction from something, something truly sinister in our world. But you know what? I'm all cool for distractions, okay? I like having smiles on my face and Ayla mouse to look forward to. Because if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it, I am out.